Hello and welcome to a quick start on BetterView Image. It has just been installed and this is the first time it's being run on this virtual machine. So we're going to start it up from the icon. As you can see we have our splash screen. This will take a little while to load because we load all the data in order to make it very fast during your actual uh, use. This part will be sped up in a future release as well. Now the first thing it needs to know is what your church name and contact email is. So we're going to put a church name as Windows 10 test and our contact email and then close things. Now the monitors are already set up as a default, same with all the rest of the information. We'll get into modifying that a little bit later. So here we have our main screen, which I'm going to dock to the right here. Um, if we want to start with some songs, we just open up our song screen, song window. As you can see, we can move it around and open it, and when it gets narrow, it uh, the song list moves off to the side. So you can pick a song that you see in the list, and it pulls up on your verses, or you can, and if you want to add that to your um, set list here, you just double click it and it's added to the song list. You can also look for a song by typing in something that's in the name or in the title. As you can see, we have He Paid a Debt here because it contains the text Amazing Grace in the course. But we're going to go Amazing Grace, My Chains Are Gone, double click added to the set list and there we are. So if we want to show this on the screen, the only thing we have to do is click on your on the course here and it is showing on the screen which I'll show you here. So there's the course. If we go to verse 1, again on the screen, there's verse 1, very simple. FTB is fade to black between the songs. If we switch over to 10,000 reasons, and then again put the chorus up, we will again see on our screen there's the chorus. So we can fade to black on that. If we need Bibles, open up the Bible screen to show scripture. We can either select, and again this would be showing on the screen, or we could type it in directly, such as Acts uh, 2 1, hit the enter key. We're already selected here, and again it is on our screen. And all we have to do is work our way down with our mouse button or the arrow keys. And again, FTB does a fade to black, and the verses are cleared up on the screen, as you can see. And that is doing things very quickly. If we wanted some graphics on the background instead of just colors, I can do the Browse button here. We have uh, on Drive C, we create a directory called Backgrounds. And right now I have some uh, backgrounds under the single wide here. So we can pick anything, either this is all sorted by video, or we can sh sort by pictures, or we can show everything. So we're going to just do, say, this background here, open it. We see the preview and the picture, and to send that to the screen, we just use this button here, which is send to background. And again, showing our screens. There we are for the background. So going back here, if we pull up our Bible again, and just randomly pick something, we will see that on our screen we have our text. We can. Now if we wanted to save this for a, uh, in the shortcut area here, all we have to do is assign it a section, uh, maybe special, hit add new, and now we have this image in the special section. So instead of having to browse for it all the time, it's right up there quickly. So if we go to the pictures, video, and pick the cross for a background, we want to put this into um, the worship section. Just add new. So now we have that in worship. And again, we just have to click it and send to background. Um, 
pull up our song list. Can move this over to see it a little better. And there we are. Songs with the video background. And there's a very quick overview on the main functions of uh, Better View. We also have a queue list here where you can select uh, scripture ahead of time. We have uh, your announcements as well that you can do. We'll get into that in another video. And these other buttons are if you have a stage monitor. So that's it for your very quick overview. Less than five minutes, you should be up and running and able to use it in the service. More to come. So keep an eye open. Thank you.